Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. So yesterday I brought you guys the very first video I've ever recorded on my salon and for the most part a lot of you really enjoyed it to the point where we got that video to 450 plus likes right now and the player base of the game went from 90 players online all the way to 500 at the time of me recording this. On top of that there is so many familiar names on the leaderboards right now and I've never been so proud. So for that reason I went ahead and AFK farmed pretty much all of last night as well as all of this morning because I kind of woke up at one o'clock in the afternoon and just to give you guys a quick little update I'm currently level 73 sitting at 4 million bits on top of that I have four floors in my salon and this is basically what I'm working with right now now there is a bunch of different things that I want to talk about throughout this video aside from the fact that we are going to be spending this four mil to upgrade hopefully everything that we have in here but most importantly I want to explain a little bit about the chairs the vanities as well as the customer flow inside of your salons because that was a lot of confusion yesterday and even I was confused to be completely honest. Also, this whole freezing thing that's been going on, I don't know what causes this. I mean, I'm in a VIP by myself right now. And if you notice, my staff were just running in place. Nothing was really moving. Not entirely sure what causes that, but it's something that occurs very often. Anyways, like I was saying before, I wanna talk a little bit about the customer flow and how unfortunately there is no way of increasing that in the game right now. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get into that at a later point in the video. For right now, I do wanna go ahead and say, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video i would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on it does help my content get out there and i would really really appreciate it i'm pretty sure i just said that well whatever you get the idea all right so before we get into spending all of the money that we have i just want to go really quickly over all of the little details that i wasn't able really to go over in the first video because well to be completely honest i didn't really understand how everything worked so here we go i'm gonna do it as quick and simple as possible let's start off with the floors in my restaurant buying multiple floors decrease the timer spawn rate of customers coming into your store but it turns out that isn't the case here in my salon no matter how many floors you buy it does not affect your customers in any type of way the only thing floors are good for right now is to get a lot of xp the more floors you have and the more staff members you have that means that those staff will be on those separate floors once hair clippings are dropped they will focus on picking those up now another thing that i want to tell you guys this is a common situation where your staff members kind of get stuck outside of your salon currently the easiest solution for this is to go ahead and open up your staff menu in the case right here we have mr bradley outside so let's go ahead and search through this menu and look for bradley where are you at man all right so here he is mr bradley is on the shampooist side if we go ahead and click on his name he will be despawned as you notice he just disappeared and if we click on his name again he will then be spawned back inside of your salon so yes if i really wanted to i can go ahead and open up my menu right here and literally get rid of all of my staff members and as you notice they are all disappearing one by one as i'm clicking this definitely a really cool feature but not really something that we need right this very second hopefully later on in the game at some point we will need that that's a good way to solve your issue if your staff members are stuck outside now let's talk about vanities chairs and washers i'm not going to get too into the details of this but it's extremely simple vanities are purely cosmetic they don't really do anything as i am recording this video that could potentially change in the future because the game is in beta still now chairs they pay you depending depending on what the customer gets. So if we go ahead and open up our hairstyle menu over here on the side, you will notice that there is different hairstyles for different levels and each one of them have a different value. So that specifically means that I can have a customer come in and ask for the blonde luscious hair. And because I am over 19, I can go ahead and give that customer that, which after they are done, I will be rewarded with $100. The only issue with chairs at the current moment is the fact that they are completely RNG, meaning that what a customer chooses is completely completely random the most expensive hair that i have unlocked right now is the blonde wavy hair which is at level 70 if a customer was to come in and ask for that i would be paid 245 dollars but there is also still a chance that a customer can come in for a black undercut and i will only get 25 dollars so the chairs are kind of a little random but at the same time you'll more than likely still make more money and as a matter of fact i've gotten dms from so many of you guys that have been asking one of the developers that goes by the name of flies and he himself has already gone ahead and confirm that the washers are for early game while the chairs are for more of the end game players now washers on the other hand are a set price you will never get anything different because it does not run off of the hairstyles menu so if you notice every single customer as long as they aren't a vip customer that sits on my washers over here on the left hand side every single one of them will always pay 64 dollars i believe if a vip customer comes in they pay like 128 but basically what i'm trying to say is that your washer will never change 
in value. That's the reason why a lot of people are kind of turning to washers right now because they feel like that's going to make them a lot more money. But in reality, with some of the values of hairstyles that we have as end game players, you know, once you get closer to like the level 90s, it's probably a lot more worth it to just fill up your entire salon with nothing but chairs. But I'll go ahead and let you guys make that decision. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead now and get to wasting this money. I kind of just wanted to get that out of the way because I know a lot of you have been asking me. So let's see. We're now sitting at 4.1 million bits. And I mean, you guys already know that I was not going to do this video without buying the two limited golden statues for inside of my salon. These give a 5% bonus of making VIP customers come inside of my salon. And to my knowledge, I believe that this stacks with every single one of the other ones that I have. I do currently have 10 tip jars, meaning that I'm receiving 10% off of that. And I have two golden hair stands. I'm still missing, obviously, four more of these, which I'll end up getting at a later time. On top of that, I'm also missing the four gem cases, but I just felt like buying the golden statue right now would be the best thing to do because I personally haven't seen anybody with it, even though I obviously know that there has to be at least one person out there that has this. So let's start off with getting two of these. Obviously, I have the VIP game pass, so it's going to cost me 800,000 instead of 1 million. So let's go ahead and make that purchase really quick. There's one and there is two. And now for the rest of the 2.5 million, I want to spend it on getting deluxe salon chairs. So let's make our way back to our salon, see how many of these we're going to need exactly. And of course, we have to place down our two brand new statues, which I'm super excited to do right now. Let's go ahead and place one on this side and one on the other side. Look at how good that looks, dude. What? This little area right here is looking real, real nice. What I'm probably going to end up doing once I completely upgrade my entire salon is really decorate everything around this section because I mean, we have so much extra room right now that I just feel like decorating would be pretty cool, you know, for the time being until more updates come to the game. And I'll just probably end up moving this to like another floor or something. All right. So it looks like in total, we're going to need 16 of the chairs. I don't think I'm going to have enough money to buy 16 of them, but let's try our very best here and see just how many we can get. All right, here we go three have been purchased i'm just gonna keep going until it doesn't let me anymore we're at 9 12 15 oh dude we're literally just a couple thousand away from being able to get the last one that we need so i guess what we'll do is just organize everything that we have so far right now and then hopefully before the video is over we can afford that very last one to complete our entire salon with fully upgraded and to be completely honest the layout that i have right now i don't really recommend it it's nothing too crazy that actually does remind me i'm going to talk a little bit about the entire customer flow that I told you guys at the start of the video. Meanwhile, I'm doing that. I'll go ahead and close my salon and we'll start replacing some of these chairs. So yesterday when we ended up finding this game and everyone was uploading about the videos, me and Vortex, another one of the content creators for this game, we were talking in DMs and we were literally trying to figure out every way possible of being able to increase our customer flow. Man, when I tell you guys that we literally tried everything, I seriously mean that and nothing was working in the slightest bit. So Vortex went ahead and reached out to Flies so we could get a definite answer on how to be able to increase our customer flow because honestly, we got to the point where we felt like maybe we just needed to level up. And as we became higher levels, our customer flow would just naturally increase. That isn't the case. Currently in the game, there is no way of increasing your customer flow as unfortunate as that sounds. That means that no matter how many floors you have, no matter what furniture you have inside of your salon, or no matter what level you are, you're always going to be getting two customers every three seconds. Now I know this sounds really, really bad and it is kind of unfortunate, but Flies did say that in the future, potentially even when the game is released, there will be items added into the game that will increase your customer flow. I think that's a really interesting way of doing it. And honestly, I'm kind of for it. I think a lot of the people that make layouts for this game are gonna kind of agree with me. Well, maybe they'll agree with me because in my head, it sounds like a good idea, but at the same time, it kind of sounds like that's gonna make layouts completely useless. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm really interested to hear some of your ideas and maybe some of your theories. Could we potentially be seeing the end of layouts for this game and instead we're going to be covering some really cool designs or i mean i don't know i'm curious to read the comments on this i actually forgot to open up my salon this entire time i I feel like a failure. Yo, we're getting so many VIP customers now that we got the statues, dude. Look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that final deluxe chair that we needed, then head back to our salon here and drop it in the final spot. And this is basically what we are going to be working with for right now. Obviously, I'll go ahead and maybe farm a little bit more and upgrade these to the deluxe washers. Again, if you guys really want to, you can go ahead and copy my layout. I don't really think that that affects anything at all whatsoever. If you guys really, really wanted to, 
to for the time being you could probably decorate your entire salon but that's gonna go ahead and do it for today man hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did i would really appreciate if you guys dropped a like on it thank you guys so much for all the support we're on our way to 45 k subs which is absolutely insane and a big thank you to every single one of you that show up to all of my videos regardless of what game it is and showing crazy amounts of support i seriously appreciate that so much you guys have absolutely no idea but that's gonna go ahead and do it for today like always i will see you guys in the next one take care